Hello, everybody. I pray that you all are blessed and highly, 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 highly favored. Welcome, welcome to Diaspo TV. Thank you, Mr. Allens and Mr. Donald and this beautiful, beautiful station for having such a great show. All the shows is this. So we're going to get started. I got a treat for y'all. I hope y'all like to eat. Hey. <laughs> so today I have my um, a special, special guest today. Uh, Mr. Bill Caesar of Caesar's Ribs. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, and thank you for coming. You're welcome. No problem. Thank Happy you. Happy to be here. Oh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So um, we're going to get started. We're going to dive right in. Okay. So the first thing is, tell us where you're from, what kind of job you have. How long have you been on your job? Well, I'm from Derry Beach, Florida. Uh, I'm a teacher at Spanish River High School. I've been uh, teaching for uh, Palm Beach County School Board for uh, October be 30 years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lord, yeah. have mercy. Yeah. And, uh, Full circle. Yeah, 30 years. Uh, and I graduated from Spanish River. We went to Spanish River together. Yeah, you got to tell <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sharks go. Yeah, Sharks. Sharks. I knew yes, you was going to yes, say yes. that, but that's a blessing. Yes. That's a blessing. Yeah. And I actually coached uh, football for 25 years. Um, Varsity so, or varsity, varsity football. Okay. Yeah. But I coach other sports over the years, uh, you know, track, basketball, but football is my main sport, you know. So that's my first job, or whatever. Then um, my passion in my business is uh, Caesar's Ribs. Caesar's yes, Chicken, ribs. yes, yeah. yes, yes. So I've been doing that about mm, about twenty years. It's been that long, Bill. Yeah, about fifteen, between fifteen, and twenty years. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Look how time flies. Yeah. Just gets up and fly. But um, well, let's 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 get started more into the um, the football and everything, and then we're gonna save the best for last. The okay, fashion. no problem. Okay, so how did you become from a student mm -hmm. to becoming the head coach of varsity mm -hmm. at Spanish River? How did how did that come about? Well. Um after I uh, graduated from Spanish River, I went to uh, Bethune Cookman University in Daytona Beach, Florida. I, I played right. uh, football there for Coach uh, Larry Little, um, okay. Hall of Famer Larry Little. Yeah, Larry yeah, Little. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know I like so, football. Uh, I know who upon that is. graduating, um, wow, I returned back to Spanish River, and uh, Dr. Johnson, who was my principal in high school, our principal, our principal, yeah, yes, he hired me um, out of, right out of college. So I started uh, teaching there and coaching as an assistant. Um, there and then I, I left for a couple of years, went over to Atlantic High School. I coached there for some years. Then I got a head coaching job at Summit Christian, which is now Atlantic uh, Christian Academy in West Palm Beach. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, off, off of Summit, yeah. I, I, co I was a head coach there for a couple of years. I didn't know that. Then wow. the job came open at Spanish River and I got a call, so I went interview, got the job, and that's when I started uh, as the varsity coach there. You know, so I coached that. Summit, coached at Atlantic, coached at Spanish River and an assistant. Then I was a head coach at uh, Spanish River for like seven, eight years. And, wow. Uh, so I saw a lot of talent, a lot of good kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I so bet. you know, football is my passion also. Yeah. But I'm You're done allowed with that. to have more than one. Right. I'm done with that. So <laughs> cooking is the main thing, you know what All I mean? Right. So once I retire from the school board, I want to go full time with my uh, business, my yeah, business. You should. Yes. When I tell y'all that meat just comes off the b -b 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 bone, <laughs> y'all believe what I tell you. I Thank mean, you. delicious, delicious, delicious. If I didn't live so far away, mm -hmm. I would be over there every week. Serious uh -huh. talk, but I got to get better. I got to get better. Yeah. But when you became the head coach, mm -hmm. was the, uh, what, what was his name? Coach what? Massey? Was he still coaching at that time or was no. it someone else? Uh, Coach, Coach Massey, he was gone. No, it was someone else. Was, okay. uh, uh, I, the guy before me was a guy named uh, Rod Payne. He okay. was uh, before me. But they had several coaches in that between that time when I was at Atlantic and, and some and they came back. But Rod Payne was like the last coach before me. Okay, because yeah. I remember Coach Massey. Yeah, and Coach, he, he Coach was Massey good. was a great coach. Yeah. He, was he was my coach. coach. Yes, he and, was. And uh, he was an athletic director for a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Then he went over to Boca High. And then he retired and moved to uh, North Carolina. So he, he lives uh, in North Carolina uh, so many months. He lives in Florida so many months. Oh, good. Yeah. He actually come back every year and he does a, a 
flag football tournament for girls, and uh, it's called the uh, Bill Massey tournament because he's uh I think he's the I think he started flag football in in Florida for girls, and he's actually being honored like uh, next month for being like the the um, the person that started flag football for girls. Oh, now wow. it's huge. It's you know it's. It's in college now. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. So if you talk to him, <laughs> you tell him Felicia Flint says hi. I will. I will. Yeah, I, he might not remember me, but I remember him. Yeah. But um, okay. So do you do weightlifting now? I remember you was telling yeah. me something about that. You was, yeah. How um, did you transition from that to? Yeah. Uh, so or I'm, I'm no, I'm not longer no longer coaching on uh, football or any sports right now. But uh, I teach uh, physical education. But my main job is I uh, teach weight training. Okay. So I'm in the weight room all day, but you know, to be in weight training, you don't have to be an athlete. It's just it's just a part of PE. So I have a uh, beginning weight training, uh, intermediate weight training, and uh, advanced weight training. So oh, it doesn't wow. matter like what level you're on. You know, I I teach them all. So that's what I do. Um, I teach weight training now. Wow. And how um, many classes do you teach? Five. Is it still seven? No, we well it's seven classes for the students, but we teach five. We have two periods off, so you can plan and get ready for uh, the next class on the next day. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. That's excellent with these kids and the schedules <laughs> and all of the, you know, yeah. stuff going on. So now we can um, we can talk about the passion. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to start out with um, your charity. Let's start out with that. Okay. Tell me tell me more about I remember you were you was telling me about your charity, which I had nothing knew nothing of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So could you tell us what that consists of and uh, can anyone volunteer or how do you go about doing it and how did you get started with it? Well, I started years ago uh, when I returned back to uh, Delray from college. Mm -hmm. um, so like I've, I've always had a passion for helping people and helping kids. So I help a lot of kids get in college, uh, help kids like in any way I can and families, you know. So right. when I uh, graduated from uh, college, uh, I started this charity and I, I named it Coming Back to Give Back. Because I feel like, you oh, know, if you go to college, you go anywhere, you leave the area, when you come back, you should be able to give back if, if you're able to. So I, I started this charity, uh, named it Coming Back to Give Back. Um, now we help kids, family, whoever uh, needs help. Um, every year, the beginning of school, we do a, a school drive where we do book bags, we do uh, food and other uh, supplies. Um, every Thanksgiving, we give away uh, like 500 meals on Thanksgiving Day. We, we cook them, pack them up, and we uh, take them around. Then we give out like 50 turkeys on Thanksgiving. And Christmas, mm -hmm. I take about 20 families and give them all the Christmas gift, whatever their list is. And this past uh, Christmas, um, I adopted uh, Forest Park Elementary. Oh, and, that's and sweet. And they gave me a list of what kids that, you know, needed different items or whatever. So we supplied all that for all the kids. So we pretty much try to do uh, things beautiful. like that. And every Thursday, I teamed up with my church, uh, Remy Church in Delray Beach. Mm -hmm. And uh, every Thursday we feed uh, the hungry and the homeless. We, we got a crew that pack all the meals. And then we got me and another crew, we, we uh, pick up the meals and we, we take them to all the homeless places and homeless camps and anywhere that someone need a meal. So we do we do that every Thursday. So um, you know it's called coming back to give back. Uh, it's a five hundred one c three nonprofit. Um, if anyone would like to donate, they can. We have a website uh, coming back to give back. If you go on the website, you'll see uh, how to give, how to donate. But it's a great cause because you know it definitely pe is people are uh, working people. Uh, sometimes they can't afford a meal. They got no. decide they want to pay a pay bill, a bill or their family's going to eat. Or go so, to the doctor. Right. So we try yes. to supply that, and then we also we also donate to like if a if a kid is trying to go to college, he need application fee or whatever. Um, we donate to uh, different um, like teams if they go into camp or they need extra money for camp. We donate uh, to that. So we try to donate when we can and when the fund, funds are available. So we we just here for the community and for whoever need needs help. So the more we receive, the more we give. You know. So that is beautiful. Yeah. You gonna make me cry because <laughs> there's so many kids. Like I've said before in other interviews that I've interviewed people, there's so many kids out there who. 
they don't have a father in their right. home. Right. And then, it, you know, it, whatever the situation or circumstances may be, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you have the, the mother or the grandmother or an aunt maybe trying to help raise the Because it takes a village to raise oh, yeah. kids, oh, yeah, especially sure. these days with all this social media and all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And you can't even walk in the grocery store. You out of fear, you, you know, somebody might come in there. Look what just happened in Arkansas. Right, God right, bless right. the people, you know, mm -hmm. and everything and, and sending prayers to Arkansas, yes. by the way. But, you know, it, it, it's just so much going on. And I just thank God that, you know, you and I mm -hmm. had our fathers in our lives, yes. in our homes. It makes a difference. Yes. No, regardless of what happened, it makes a difference. And I said all that to say, I just think it's beautiful what you're doing because even like you said, the working people. Yes, yes. Even the working class. Yeah, yeah, I don't surprised. even think it's not yeah. a middle class anymore. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Even people who are working, working two and three jobs yeah. to make it. Yes, it's tough. These people are they they're struggling, they're trying to pay the bills, like you said, to pay a bill, go mm -hmm. to the doctor. So I think what you're doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Real talk, real mm -hmm. talk. You know, I'm. y'all know I like to crack jokes. So I can't <laughs> stay serious too long. Mm -hmm. But this right here, this is a beautiful thing. So could thank you please you. tell them again where they can go on the website to donate if they can yeah, uh, and to get help as well? Right, get help, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we mentor people as well. Uh, it's called Coming Back to Give Back. Uh, you can go to our website. We are 501c3, nonprofit. So you can write it off on your taxes. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You can... Help us to help others. Beautiful. That's what it's all about. Beautiful. Now we're going to get to the passion, the good yeah. things. Yeah. And that is beautiful as well. Don't. Do, oh, my gosh. You got so much gifts, so many mm -hmm. gifts that God has given you. And Thank that's you. blessing you giving back. Mm -hmm. um, so how did you start cooking? I want to hear this story. Well, um, both of my grandmothers uh, were cooks. So it's like I was always around cooking and in the kitchen with them and uh, watching what they do and how they do it. So I just got a passion for it. And I started cooking at an early age, just watching my grandmothers, you know. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. just uh, went from there. You, you better know? be glad I know <laughs> right, you know how to cook right, 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 right. <laughs> I just say be a brave with something. <laughs> and I, uh, so every, as I got older, every, um, all the time I always cooked, had barbecues, free food and just, just having a good time with, with food, you know, right. uh, being together, you know. Even when I was in um, college, um, I used to cook for my teammates and friends, and so I just loved to do it every weekend. So um, one week, my sister, she was like, you know, you should make this a business. You love it so much. You know, it's people, they do this for a living. I was like, I never thought about that, whatever. She was like, You was just doing it because you love it. Because I love it, yeah. Right, right. So she was like, okay. So she took me to Fort Lauderdale and um, showed me this business. And she was like, well, you know, you see, this guy's doing the same thing you're doing, but only he's making money. You could be doing the same thing. I was like, so She's right. where, where should I start? She was like, well, at the time, our church was in Boynton on Federal Highway. She was like, you could use, use the church parking lot or whatever. So I went and bought a small grill, and I started uh, cooking at the church on Friday in the back. And it was like, it was so slow. I had like... I bought like six slabs and a case of chicken. It took me two days to get rid of them. I'm like, man, maybe this is the wrong thing, you know? Yeah. So then I was like, you know, I just got to, you know, just trust it because it's going to work or it's going to work, you know? So I moved to the front of the church and I started this slogan, follow the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to get that yeah. pattern. Get that pattern. So people start seeing the grill. They start smelling the food. They start seeing the uh, smoke. Then it's just uh, picking up, picking up, picking up. At, then um, they had a uh, some guy came by and he uh, said, uh, "Hey, you know they having a, a real roundup at the South Florida Fairgrounds. I think you should get into it." I was like, "Yeah, you think so?" He's like, he, "So he gave me the information, and um, I entered the contest, whatever." So when I get out there, it's like twenty rib vendors and all these guys like big time barbecue people. They got these rigs and everything. So my sister, she was with me. She was like, "Listen." Don't worry about the size yeah, of the grill. With God, don't we worry be about for you. Right, right. We could be against you. She said, "Don't worry about all that stuff. Just worry about you. Focus on you." I said, "Okay, no problem." So there's fifty thousand people there, and twenty and twenty rib vendors. Yeah. So they they did a contest where they uh, taste your ribs and uh, also your sauce and everything. So anyway, um, when it came down to uh, presentation. Uh, you know, we come on the stage in front of all these people, 
and at the time, uh, w, uh, one of those radio stations was hosting it. And uh, so anyway, they called number three, they called the runner up. So I'm like, well, dang, we didn't even place. Then I was like, Caesar, number one, we want, we want best ribs, best sauce, best everything. Ooh, now that <laughs> sauce, baby, <laughs> right, right. baby, that sauce is uh uh good. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. He is not lying. Yeah. Y'all need to try this. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. I know so, it's more interruptions. Go ahead. So that opened up a lot of doors for us. So when we after we won that, uh, it was 50,000 people there. So like Woo. all these people want, want to know well, who's Caesar and who's this guy or whatever. So we know we had all the information there. We handed out. And then they gave us, for winning, they gave us uh, like free commercials, uh, free advertisement for a year. And that made and, it even better. Right. So now the traffic started flowing and, you know, we we, we uh, picked up from there. And so we just, from there, we just, we, the, our church moved. So I moved down the street to a place called uh, All About Wicker. I was there for a couple years and uh, I, I was actually forced into a brick and mortar because I was just on the outside just working the corner. And, you know, jealous people uh, Ooh, don't talk about complaining it. and yeah. this and that and this and that. So still in they I, shine, right? So I end up yeah. end up moving. I was on Fifth Avenue, uh, thirty seven Southwest Fifth Avenue for like five years, right behind Checkers. I remember and, um, that. Yeah. So I was there five years. Now I'm on uh, Congress. Eight, I'm at 1880 Dr. Andre's Way, Derry Beach, Florida. I'm only there on Saturdays for the public, eleven to five. Saturdays only. But I do a lot of catering, I do a lot of events, I I do a uh, uh, lot lot of lot of events, a lot of catering. Um, I've, I've catered for a um, lot of uh, NFL players, uh, so I do big events, small events. No event is too big or too small. We do it all. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I, uh, when the Super Bowl was in Miami years ago. I was one of the vendors for the Super Bowl. I remember that. Yeah. I was so proud. Yeah, I think yeah. I said something to yeah, you about it. I was vendor for the Super Bowl. Uh, we do. We used to do the Dare F every year. Uh, we did the Pride Fest last month. That was awesome. Um, July 4th, we'll be downtown Dare. We're doing uh, the event downtown Dare for July 4th. They do a huge event mm -hmm. on July 4th. So we're busy. So that's why right now we're going to open one day a week for the public. But we cater any day of the week. OK, yeah. mm -hmm. so eventually, do you see yourself opening up more than one day? Because I know you're busy because oh, yes. some events are so they, they, that that yeah. catering is not yeah. a joke. And do you also have a staff for that? Oh, yeah, I have a, I have a regular staff that works every Saturday and I have a catering staff. Oh, so they're separate or they're the same people? Some of them are the same people. And then the catering staff, uh, we have like five other people. That's all they do is just the catering events with their staff. If it's a small event. So we just use that staff. It's a huge event. We use both staff together. Yeah, you have to. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know nothing about. So that's why I say no event is too big or too small. You know, we we prepare for. We've we cook for twenty five people and we've cooked for eight hundred people. Right. So, and how? Who do you? I'm sorry. Do you make the side dishes my as wife, well? Pauline Caesar. She does it. She makes some yeah. good macaroni and cheese, <laughs> y'all. Yeah, yeah. right. Some I don't need, but I'm telling you, it's. I delicious. do all the smoking, all the all the ribs, the chicken, uh, whatever we we're catering, but uh, pulled pork, uh, smoked turkey legs, brisket, everything. And this is mainly a family business, correct? A family business, yeah. Yes, yes. that's yes. beautiful. You and your wife. Mm -hmm. My wife, my brother Chris Caesar, work for me now also. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. That's yeah. sweet. Oh yeah, that's so that's eventually, beautiful. Uh, you know. Like I got, I got 30 years with the school board. Um, so when I retire, I want to go full time with my business. Uh, I want to open um, more sites mm -hmm. as well in different areas. Yeah, so that's that's the goal. Well, do you see yourself like in a restaurant, opening up a restaurant? I know it's a lot of work. Oh, it's it's a lot of work, a lot of overhead and everything. But um, eventually, I, I want to be back in the restaurant, but no time soon. I rather <laughs> I rather uh, do the catering. <laughs> Do the events, I have a food truck, you know. I'd rather uh, work the food truck, do the catering, do the events, and uh, different things like that. That's, you got a plan. Yeah. You're smart. Oh, yeah. oh, you yeah. were smart in school, too. got to have a plan. And you was nice to me in school, <laughs> too. You was nice. He was I try so, to be nice to everybody. Yeah, he was <laughs> nice to me. He was. I could truly say that. 
So, um, and thank you for that too. You're welcome. <laughs> he talking about you welcome, <laughs> but that's just who you are. Mm -hmm. So in the future, you said you wanted to not even, you know, right away open up a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Do you see it like different sites nationwide, you know, or just in the dairy area, different cities, different states, if you decide to do that? What are your long-term goals that you see yourself doing that? Uh, different, different cities uh, for sure. Yeah. And uh, a few other states, like maybe uh, uh, Georgia for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, maybe uh, Dallas. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Georgia for sure. Yeah. But I want to do uh, different uh, cities in Florida first. Right, right, and, right. you know, move at the right pace. You know, I want to get ahead Just of myself. Just jump out there. Fast. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're going to definitely have to have a big staff for that yeah. and people who you can trust. trust. That's the thing. That's the it's main thing. It's hard to find good, good, good help. Good help to trust. and people you could trust. And and I'm not making this, you're the star, but when I had my band and I, I, y'all probably sick of me saying this, but for 15 years I had my own band off the chain. And like he said, the overheads, you have to make mm -hmm. enough to cover the overheads, yes. you know, like for rehearsals, the um, equipment, if you don't own it and you have to put insurance on it. And if you own it, you have to take care of it because it wears out, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're doing this for a living. Right. So I get what you're saying, the overheads for the restaurants and just like you said, people you can trust and it right. wore me out because i mainly was doing it myself my uh, my mm -hmm. son one of my sons and i you know but i said you know what i can make more money as a vocalist yes so because all i gotta do is just yeah. let god show up and show out yep, <laughs> you know what i mean that's right so but i was still singing with other bands to help my band stay afloat because when mm -hmm. you own a business correct me if i'm wrong you have to put the money back in it to oh, keep yeah. it afloat oh, yeah. Yes, you do. So that's you're the last why one to get paid. You're the last one to get paid. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. take the hits. Yeah. You get blamed for everything. Right. It doesn't and matter how good or bad it go. People yeah. still got to be paid. Yeah, they so got to get paid. You so got to take all the losses. You got to take the losses and all of that, the good, the bad, the ugly, oh, and yeah. the indifferent. So it's a lot. It's it's a lot. But if, like you said, if you can get someone mm -hmm. that you can trust. Oh, yeah. I see. And I see that for you, Bill. Mm -hmm. I actually, I see you going to different states in running mm -hmm. a restaurant, Caesar Ribs. I see that for and, you. Thank you. And it couldn't happen to a better mm -hmm. person. Now, I know it was another article. It was one that you sent me. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that article? It was one you sent me. Um, actually, it was a fan or somebody. Um, I'm trying to remember it. Mm -hmm. It was a fan or somebody, and you sent it to me, and I read it, but I wanted you to talk about it. Oh, uh, do you remember the one I'm I, talking about? I think that we we made uh yeah we we, we made some magazine or being oh, one of the uh yes. the, yeah the, the uh, best uh, rib place in in Palm Beach County, and uh, that that article. Then they did another article with um in Delray, where um they did a nice piece on us comparing us to the other barbecue places in the area. Right. And the, we was like the people's choice for uh, number one barbecue. What so, a So, uh, yeah, one one of my um, customers sent me that. I didn't even know anything about it. But uh, so it was a nice article, great article, and it was a great accomplishment. So doing something right. <laughs> no, you're doing, you're doing everything right. And see, I right. wanted to touch just a little bit what you were mm -hmm. saying about jealous, you know, when, when you were on the corner and people, you know, don't, when you, when you have an anointing, and when you, when you shine, see, you don't need a spotlight because it comes from within. Right. And once your spotlight comes from within, you can walk into a room and the whole place lights up. And people are jealous for the silliest things, right. the way you walk, the way you yeah. talk, the way you carry yourself. Sometimes they're jealous of the other people, the way others love you, which is crazy. Right. It doesn't right. make any sense. Right. But because you don't have a heart like that, we don't understand it. And I'm going to include myself. Right. We don't understand it, but it's not meant to understand yeah. the sun and the moon shines mm -hmm. separately mm -hmm. but they also shine together mm -hmm. so Thank you me. just i said that keep on doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and i pray that god continues to bless you on your journey you. um i appreciate you you know with these kids because sometimes people don't have an outlet those children oh, yeah. may not you know could be going home to god knows what anybody could mm -hmm. be going to god knows what you mm -hmm. know and i love the fact that you 
go in the community every Thursday. Every Thursday. Every Thursday, and you you give back to the community. You got this, you know, your charity. I think that's that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And if you just stay, God is continuing to bless you, and you stay on that. You're going to be successful Thank and you. just stay humble to thy will, which you already know that. You know, my mom used to mm -hmm. tell me that, but that's just who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, and my dad, we, we, we just we, we was just raised like that. Right. But if it's in you, it's in you, you right. know, because just like God gives it to you, you can also mm -hmm. take it away. Yep, yeah, that's true. So I just love the fact that what you're doing. So tell us um, again what days that uh, they can, you know. For, do you, and that, that was my la I, that was my other question. Can they call the day and order the food, or the day before? How do they do it? They just come by and get it, or yeah, how do well, they, do it's, it? they can do it both ways. Um, they can just come uh, on Saturdays. We open from eleven to five. Really, we open from eleven to sold out because we super swamp all day. A lot of times we sold out about between three and, and four. All right, but if they call ahead of time, which you can, you call ahead of time and place your order. We'll automatically have it for you. Like if you call and say, "Well, I can't make it to four, four thirty. We, you, once you once you place your order, we'll make sure that you definitely have it. So you can call ahead of time, right. or you could just uh, show up. And but if it's a big order, we ask that you call ahead of time. Like some people call, like they having a party or something, they'll mm -hmm. call for more. So we need to know. So right, so you know how to move. Right, how to move and how to prepare for it. Right. Now, could you give the phone number? Oh, the phone please? number is 561-344-5816. That's 561-344-5816. Caesars, Turk and Famous Ribs. Follow the Follow smoke. Follow the smoke. Follow the smoke. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Follow, Follow the, the smoke. smoke. <laughs> and you should get that patent. You ever yeah. thought about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna oh, yeah. do it? I should have done it. Yeah, I am. I should have done it. You should now. do it. Yeah. No, I, I should have done it by now. Oh God, he gonna make me hollow. He said I should have done it by I now. I should have. So crazy. Seriously. But I think that's something you should look into. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. then you, and and nobody can say it. You know, they can say it, but you know what I'm saying. And if somebody yeah. else uses it, guess who gonna get paid? Me. You. <laughs> I think I really. I think you should. You you should do that. So now. After uh, you said the restaurants and the getting people, do you have people in mind that you would like to uh, put in those restaurants, or is this just something that you just, you know, trial and error like we all, like sometimes we do? Do you have people in mind that you can trust to do it? You don't have to call any names or nothing like that. Um, but if I was to start a, a one other one, yes, but like several now, just just because uh, you know, good help is hard to find. Ooh, you know who you mean? telling? And then. Uh, Good help and trustworthy people. And then it's got to be consistent. Like, it's got to be the same taste, same everything. You know, I don't want to have, like, three or four places in this place. Oh, it's pretty good, but the other place is not good. Yeah, no, that's so, a big concern. Yeah, yeah. it got to be consistent. got to be the same. Because that's yeah. your name. Up my na exactly. That's people don't realize. Your you know, reputation. My name, my reputation. So it's got to be right. So we're going to move the right way. You know, yeah. not too fast. Yeah, <laughs> I see that. So how does the school... Uh, Spanish River. Hey, mm -hmm. how do they feel about you doing your your Caesar's ribs? Oh, they love They're it. They're very supportive. Oh, very supportive. Like I, I that I means actually, so uh, much. I actually cater um, for the school at least oh. uh, one or two times a year for different events. So, like most of the teachers and administrative staff, well, all administrative staff, they know about my business, so they support. A lot of them come by on Saturdays and buy food. So anytime they having a big event, a special event, they uh, they hire me to uh, cater it. So, so it's a good family at Spanish River, and they they support a lot. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this look location, how long have you been in this location? Because uh, I didn't this, even know you moved until you told right, me. Right, this location now I'm going on two years. Right. Really? Yeah, going on two years. Yeah. Oh wow. And it's uh, right off of Congress, right behind, um, like near Tri Rail, behind the health department. It's uh, it's like a uh, an area where this guy is turning into like an art district. So it's a lot of different uh, stores and shops back there. But it's right off of Congress, 1880, Dr. Andre's Way in Delray, right off Atlantic and Congress. Oh, okay. So there's, I know back there it used to be like body shops, right? And that's tires, a, right? And changes that and place, yeah. That guy, he 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 gutted the whole place out and changed the whole thing and painted all the buildings real nice. Uh, so, so it's a real nice area. He changed oh, the whole image. Oh, wow. It's going to be sort of like, uh, 
like uh, the Miami um, art art um, area. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so yeah, so it's that's what he's trying to uh, do. Okay, cause I know I got lost. <laughs> I had to go to an event. And I put the wrong address in. And I say, I used to work here. This is the health department. And it took me back there. Right. And I was riding back there. And I'm like, this, I said, this used to be, and I said, then I saw your truck. Right. And I said, mm-hmm. now, okay, this is where he is. But this place looks totally different. Because totally I just remember, of course, when I worked for the health department, I just remember tires, mm-hmm. body paint, you know, all of that. It looks really oh, nice yeah, back yeah, there. A it's job. a total trance uh, formation there. It oh, looks yeah. totally different. So you've been there two years. See, I didn't even know that mm-hmm. God time just gets mm-hmm. up and fly. It just flies. But ladies and gentlemen, I just want you all to support him again. Tell us again the name of your website. My charity is Coming Back to Give Back. All right, it's a 501c3 nonprofit charity that you can uh, write your taxes off if you do a donation, all right? Um, my business is uh, Caesar's Jerking Famous Ribs, uh, Caesar's Catering and More, and the address is 1880 Dr. Andre's Way, Derry Beach, Florida. The phone number is 561-344-5816. Give us a call. No job is too big or too small. We'll do it all. Follow the smoke. Caesars. Follow the smoke. No job is too big or too small. That's beautiful. All right. So with that being said, we're going to say good night. You all have a blessed day. (laughs) We love you guys. Blessings. 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 Blessings.